How's it going mga dudes? My name is Tudipai And welcome to another episode of The Podcast News for 100cc Bikes of 2021 Kaya sa mga nag-abang ng bagong 400cc dyan Aba, manginig na kayo So simula na natin sa bagong KTM Next Generation RC 390 2021 Parang pelikula lang 8 years in the making Since its debut noong 2013 with matte black finish as early of 2020. Ayon sa product portfolio na nilabas ng parent company ng KTM, magkakaroon siya ng bagong orange and blue double primer paint scheme with the iconic orange chassis. Honestly, my dudes, trip ko itong bagong paint scheme ni RC390. Naalala ko yung paborito kong Repsol Edition ni Mr. Mick Doan's era. And S, you can see in the release photo which confirms the newly redesigned fairing, bagong headlight at bagong five-spoke alloy wheel na naka-split type na upuan na both for rider and passenger. But, looking back at the new front face ng motor, is integrated na ang kanyang LED DRL with turn indicator sa kanyang front fairing and headlight design that could potentially be the same as the Duke 390. But overall, kung sa tingin nyo maganda or pangit, ang bagong design is all up to you. Ang nakita ko lang na major upgrade from the design is the upgraded aerodynamic package that comes with a slightly wider and taller windscreen, which is lacking sa dating design ng RC390. As for the engine, it's possible na baka magkaroon ng minor improvements sa makina. Baka lang. Baka! So kailan ito lalabas? Ayon sa mga cheese chirmismis, possible na malunch ito first half of the next year 2021. So there's plenty of time left para makapag-ipon-ipon pa, my dudes. Next bike ko, the Honda CBR 400 Double R. Oh yes! Excited talaga ako sa motor na ito. Dahil kagaya ng iconic Kawasaki ZX25R, plano din ng Honda na i-revive ulit ang kanilang legendary baby Fireblade of the late golden eras of 90s bikes. However, what you see right here is just a rendered image na pinagdikit-dikit lamang na galing sa CBR 250 double R and the CBR 650 single R. But hold your tits, my dudes. Hindi basta-basta ang cheese chirmismis na nagpalabas ng speculation na ito. Ito ay galing sa isang masusing investigasyon na pinalabas ng Young Machine Media in Japan, which also predicted the revival of the Kawasaki ZX25R way back in 2014. So why bucket 400cc at hindi 250cc para makipagsagupan sa ZX25R ng Kawasaki? Well, base dito sa pinalabas na article ng Young Machine is, kung ang labanan daw ay lightweight inline 4 engine, is almost impossible na para sa Honda na mag-redevelop pa sila ng bagong 250cc 4-cylinder engine. Yes! Dati na nagkaroon ng inline 4 250cc ang Honda. But magtatatlong dekada na silang hindi gumagawa na ito. Dahil hindi ito pumapasa sa standard Euro compliant restriction. But instead, ang ginawa ng Honda is gagamitin na lang nila ang kanilang pinakamatagal na 400cc inline 4. Production current model in the form of the legendary CB400 Super 4. Which makes sense, kasi dati pa nila itong ginagawa sa kanilang dating dalawang variant ng CBR400 Double R, which is the NC23 and the NC29 in the late 80s and 90s. E as of now, wala pa tayong specification for the new CBR400. But let's take a look back at the race version Honda NC29 1994 model. Displacement, 399cc inline 4, dual overhead cams, 4-stroke, 4-valves, liquid-cooled carbon, Rated base engine that spit out 53 horsepower at 13,000 RPM with 35.3 Newton meter peak torque at 10,000 RPM. Now, as for features, meron itong awesome features that doesn't exist anymore. First is meron siyang gear driven cams for accurate camshaft timing, an S frame chassis for LCG or low center of gravity, which greatly enhanced the overall maneuverability, and a gull arm swing arm. And my most favorite, my dudes, a big ass rear seat compartment and a retractable passenger footpegs. Mm. Kung gusto niyo ng more information about the old school CBR 400 double, ah, 
Meron tayong specialist dyan who owns one and just happens to recently open up a YouTube channel called Lone Double Ah PH. But back on the main topic, does Honda actually planning to release this bike in 2021? Yes, of now, wala pang bagong leaks or confirmation from Honda kung ito ba'y talagang matutuloy for the 2021. But ayon sa prediction ng Young Machine, ito dahil merong 20% chance na lumabas last quarter of the year 2021. Well, my dude, kung hindi mo na kaya maghintay pa, meron naman mga bagong labas dyan na 400cc that could potentially price below 200,000 pesos in the Pelopen money. Oh yeah! And this, my dude, is the all-new Taro GP1400 single Ah, I know! I'm not saying na available na ito sa Pinas. But dati na nagkaroon at nag-release ng units ang Motor Strada way back in 2017. And those are the base model of Taro. The GP1250 and the 400cc test unit GP1400. And also no, hindi na nagbebenta ang Moto Strada nito. Kasi by that time kulang or hindi na kayang supply ng taro ang demands sa kanilang mga stock units. And that is also why limited stock lang ang na-release dito sa Pinas. But now things are changing with their new flagship R series. Na una nang na-release na si GP1250R which I recently covered in my previous videos. Finally! A super budget 2-cylinder sport bike is finally here! At sunod na nga dito na-release ang GP1400R and the GP2-200 single R. Yep, meron pang GP2 na 200cc which I will also cover in my next top 5 below 400cc of 2021. Now as for the specs of the GP1400R, meron siyang 380cc 2-cylinder dual overhead cam for stroke liquid cool EFI engine that makes around 40.2 horsepower at 9,000 RPM with the maximum 33.5 Nm of peak torque at 6,500 RPM. Now I'm not really sure kung bakit ganito yung tunog niya for a parallel twin base engine. tunog 3 to 4 cylinders features niya pala naka full color TFT display dual channel ABS 35 watts LED lights price in Chinese around 25,800 yuan or 189,000 pesos in the Pelopen money question is lalabas kaya sa Pinas? I can't say for sure But gaya ng unang na-release na GPR250R, is Songshen na ang global distributor neto. Which is dati na silang nagpapadala ng motor sa Pinas. And just recently nakuha ng Rusia ang RE3 Cyclone 400, which also came from the Songshen. At dati nang na-build up ang trend neto sa Pinas. With the 2017 GP1250 for only 85,000 pesos. Eh! China. Walang spare parts yan, yari yari yada yada. Ha! Kung gusto mo ng chuchal na motor, meron tayo nyan. And it's coming from a talent premium brand from Aprilia for their newest entry level lightweight sport bike that could place in 300 or 400 cc class. Ito yung ipapanlaban ng Aprilia sa Yamaha R3 in the Kawasaki Ninja 400. At ito ay ayon sa isang article ng isang British media, Visor Down, na ayon daw sa isang opisyal ng Paigo, parent company ng Aprilia, is pinaghandaan nila ang kanilang pampalit sa kanilang pinaka-entry-level sport bike, namely the RS125, dahil i-discontinued na nila yan sa Europe. At sinabi din mismo nila na it will be placed below the RS660. So I guess it's safe to say na ito na ang magiging RS360. Pero alam naman natin na hindi madaling mag-produce ng bagong motor from scratch. At meron pa silang i-release next year. 
which is the Toono 660, a naked-ish counterpart ni RS660. Okay, so bakit hindi 250cc sport bike ang pinili nila? Kasi may dude meron ng Aprilia GPR250 that is only sold in China. At isang RS250 na track-oriented race bike lang in Europe. At hindi ito street legal bike. But with all that said, let's just all wait and see kung anong kakalabasan nitong RS660 that should live up to its bigger brothers. And now, to finish it off, there's just no way! <coughs> In hell, I can put this in this list. And it's none other than the Honda CB400 Super 4. Kasi when it comes to 400cc, eto lang naman ang nag-iisang hari. At pinakamatandang current production 400cc 4-cylinder bike in its category. Na magtatatlong dekada na since its first release noong 1992. The Honda CB400 SF was last updated in 2017 to comply for the Euro 4 standard emissions. As for the specification, it has a 399cc 4-cylinder four 4-stroke four 4 valves, dual overhead cam, liquid-cooled with VTEC technology ni Honda. Yes, the only 400cc na merong variable valve timing. It's the same technology ng Yamaha's VVA that helps push in power and at the same time consume less fuel. And with the 2017 updates, the bike now produces 56 horsepower and a 39 Nm of peak torque, while at the same time reaching the optimum requirement for the Euro 4 compliant. Compared to the previous gen, na Euro 3 compliant lamang with 53 horsepower and 38 Nm of torque. Now that's amazing. But still, Honda needs to update this bike again for 2021 or 2022. Kasi in 2022 na magsisipin mo lang i-implement ang strict Euro 5 compliant. And that is not just in Europe. Ngayon ang problema dito is possible na hindi na malagyan ng VTEC system to comply for the Euro 5 emission standards. Not sure kung kaya pang gawa ng paraan ng Honda. But besides dyan, kailangan pa nilang i-revise ang makina neto. Which is totally favorable for the revival of the CBR 400 double. Ah, wala nga lang VTEC. And no, hindi nagbebenta ng CB400SF ang Honda PH. But ang dami at halos kumpleto lahat ng model dito sa Pinas through imported models ranging from 170,000 pesos to almost 400,000 pesos pre-owned. At kung gusto mo naman ng bago is madami din dyan nag-o-offer ng pre-orders. Like the 7 Power Motors. Available din sa kanila ang CBR650R, CBR600RR, and the CBR1000RRRRR. And more. Nope, hindi nila ako sponsored. But sabihin nyo na lang galing kayo sa akin. Okay, it's time for a bonus bike. Yup, dadagdagan na naman ulit natin ang ating top 5. Kasi may bagong 400cc na lumabas ngayon sa Pinas. And this my dude is the Husko Barnes Bart Pelin in the Vet Pelin 401. From which na-review ko na ang brand neto in the form of the 250cc variant. But not as expected, only the Svart Pelin 200cc lang ang lumabas sa atin. At kasama dito ang dalawang variant ng 400cc Bigger Brother neto, which is the 401. Short introduction lang sa motor, these are the motorcycle from Husqvarna, which also happens to be now owned by KTM. At etong lumabas na motor sa Pinas is using the same engine and body frame from the Duke 200 and the Duke 390. Ang pinagkaiba lang neto is... Siyempre the overall Neo classic look from the Smart Pelin, which is a modern scrambler. And the Vet Pelin naman is the copy racer with clip-on handlebars from the RC390. So basically, it will give you the same engine performance of 43 horsepower in a great amount of 37 newton meter of peak torque coming from a single cylinder engine. Bigat niya na sa 150 kg lang na mas magan pa ng 4 kg kesa sa Duke. And it comes with features such as dual channel ABS, slipper clutch, adjustable WP inverted fork, and monoshock. Cast aluminum swing arm in a ride by wire throttle. Price of the 401 in the Philippines is around 295,000 pesos. For the looks, 
specs, features, and overall performance, my dudes. This is it, pancit. And I'm so happy and so proud, so proud to announce, my dude, that this video is now sponsored by none other than myself. Promote ko lang guys ang ating Facebook page kung saan main topic dito is the latest motorcycle news as well as the leaks and rumors na hindi ko na magagawa ng video. So go on ahead. Like and follow mo na ako dyan at huwag kang mahiyang mag-comment dyan dahil sasagutin ko ang mga yan.